break-in. Terrorist kill police, DPO, another resident, an injured army commandant in Castino State. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. A senior military officer and the army commandant on the local government area was also injured during the attack. Terrorists, otherwise known as bandits, have killed the divisional police officer, DPO, in Mangama, Jibia, Jibia local government area of Castina State. What is happening in Castina people? Unfortunately, Castina, Castina is where the president, the sitting president comes from. What exactly is going on in Castina? Why is Castina so much in the news right now? Why is it looking as if I don't know what is going on? Sincerely, my heart goes out to these people. My heart really goes out to them. We hope that normalcy and peace return, but we cannot, it cannot be done through hope. It can only be done when the right things are actually done. The news in detail, please stay with us. The gunman who stormed the village on Tuesday evening with motorcycle also killed a yet to be a certain number of villagers. Sahar reporters gathered that a senior military officer and the army commandant in the local government area was also injured during the attack that lasted over two hours. The attack comes a few days after 13 people were killed and many others abducted by bandits and three Castina local government. The three communities are Goga, Gindan, Kanawa, and Dukawa are in the Bankoro and Funtua local government area, all in the southern part of a state, sharing boundaries with Kaduna. Castina, despite being the homestead of a president, Muhammad Buhari, has witnessed sporadic attacks by bandits and kidnappers that have claimed the lives of many. That is why I'm saying this. What exactly is the problem? What exactly is going on? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, I mean, it's not funny. It's not funny. You would wonder how an army commander will get injured when he has many soldiers at his command. No need to wonder. <laughs> Sincerely, this is not, this is not joke at all. It is not joke. Castina people, and our politicians and leaders are only interested in 2023 election. They don't care if you remain only one in that state. By the way, where is your first lady? It's not funny. It's not. And this particular um, person's opinion is actually correct. Look around you. The issue of insecurity is no longer the topic of discussion. What everybody is talking about is how they are going to campaign, how they are going to consult for elections, election that I keep asking if it will hold in the sky or in the sea. Because with the level of bus bulls going everywhere, chaos everywhere, when are they going to be holding the election? An election is not going to be seen as free or fair if it is being held in this kind of environment. God forbid this thing lingers till that time. How many people will not be remaining? The number that always comes out to say, oh, um, they have a voting number. How many of them will now be remaining for the so-called election? It's not funny at all. All the normal de decline for presidential ambition should back off. They cannot even defend the region, talk less of, talk more of Nigeria. Shame no did their eyes at all. <laughs> okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.